All right, so we're going to do some basic math, I'm creating a new column. You'll find a lot in SQL that you have to generate new information um, from existing information. And then what I mean by that is you'll be, you'll be asked to do things like um, figure out how many hours over your budget you are. Um, but you don't have an hours over your budget column. All you have is the hours predicted and the hours spent. And so you have to do some math. So I'm going to show you how to do some math. I've got this math demo I created. You don't have this one, so don't go looking for it. Um, but in it, I've just got this simple um, table here called numbers. And in it, I've just got a bunch of numbers. Um, and these could represent anything. This could be uh, hours estimated, hours used. This could be um, hours budgeted, hours worked. This could be price per item, total price, uh, price per item, number of items purchased, uh, any number of things that those numbers could represent. Um, and when you're asked to do something with them, then you got to do some math. So I'm going to click on Math Demo, and we're just going to do some basic math stuff here. So we're going to select, and I'm going to select, I'm going to do fully qualified, because remember, we like to do it that way. So we're going to select from numbers, dot number one, and uh, numbers, dot number two, I'm going to show those. Remember, select means show me. Number one, number two. And then I'm going to say, let's do some math with that. So now I'm going to say, um, let's put this in parentheses. I'm going to say numbers dot number one minus numbers dot number two. Okay, so that's going to take the, it's going to show me a column of number one. It's going to show me a column number two. And it's going to show me number one minus number two. And then I'm going to, oops by assuming I get this right, number two, there we go. And then I'm gonna give it an alias as total subtraction, so that I'll know what that means. Of course, it needs to come from the table we're working on, which is numbers, all right? So when I hit go, you'll see the number one minus number two, sure enough, it's minus one. 58 minus 30, sure enough, 28. Now this is not doing anything to my table. Um, when I go look at my table, there is no column created for this. This column purely exists as a result of this report. When I'm done with the report, um, that information is gone. Now, remember, you can do anything with this. So if I was to change that to, say this was my price per item and my quantity sold, then this would be my total, total cost, right? And number one times number two go. Now we can see them multiply two times three is six, six times seven is 42, so forth and so on. And these can get very complicated, right? I could say, uh, just do stupid crap, right? We could do number one times minus two minus numbers dot number one, you know, and I could go, I could just keep burying those things in plus numbers number two, it already knows I'm in numbers, but I'll put that in there anyway, just because as, as weird stuff, right? Now I hit go. Ah, I missed one. All right. Uh, number two. Sorry. As number two. I, and now I've got this nice, uh, it's not really exactly right. I hit something wrong here. Number two, get that in there. So I need one, two, three, one, two, three, as weird stuff from numbers, get rid of that. So remember, all this has got to be in parentheses, right? So that I can make it an alias and hit go. And there we go, all kinds of interesting math stuff. Hope that helps.